know many people here. I've seen many people at uh, the Victoria Theater around the community. Uh, folks who are involved in education. I just want to wrap it up and keep it quick. Uh, I did. Uh, I'm really happy that I knew uh, Mr. Cruz's parents. Um, I saw him as he came up through the ranks. Uh, I knew his whole entire family. I still do. I'm proud. I don't remember of that family. Um, I had no idea that this was going on. I'm glad that I'm an avid watcher of the news. Um, and I saw the invitation to come down, Council, Council Member Prince. Um, and I just want to make a statement and keep it brief. I'm probably like 90 seconds left. <laughs> okay, 60. <laughs> That's TV experience. Um, I want to say, first of all, that. My family was severely uh, disrupted and affected by, 90, uh, by the 94, I-94 corridor. Um, we had the first townhouses in America, and they were built on Rondo and Oxford. And the city came, I remember I was just a grandchild at the time, but the city came and blew those uh, we, it was like the first design of the townhouse, right? They were close to together. And anyway, the city, at any rate, the city tore those apartments down that were like townhouses. One's on Maryland and Kent. One's on their split and center all over, all over the city. Um, my family was never adequately compensated for that real estate, that mm. property. And as a matter of fact, uh, my mother today. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, my mother today um, cries every day um, and, and urges me to find somewhere where she can live back in the Rondo community because she was uh, kind of forced out of her community and she misses that. Um, I look forward to working with the committee and the uh, reparations team in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. This has got to be the most Minnesota moment.